We will now talk about some of the differences between the electric school bus instrument cluster and the diesel bus instrument cluster. On a diesel bus, we have a coolant temperature gauge. On an electric bus, we have a battery temperature gauge, and we have a motor temperature gauge. Instead of having a tachometer, we're going to have a gauge here that shows us their state of charge. A E for empty, a F for full, like a fuel gauge, but it is their state of charge gauge. We have a wrench light, which reminds the driver that there is service needed, not a major problem, just when they finish their route, they can take it in for service. That will be the same on a diesel bus. A receptacle light, or a cable that plugs in, that shows that the bus is plugged in, not charging, but plugged in to remind the driver that they will not be able to drive off with the power cord plugged into the bus. We have a minor fault light for the electric drive motor. This light is a critical fault for the electric motor, which would require us to pull over to the side of the road, turn the bus off. A light that has a turtle in it for derate, meaning that if there's something wrong with their bus, the power will be derated and we will go slower to protect the batteries and the electric drive motor. This light here, the green truck with the arrows underneath it, is our high voltage indicator light. That tells the driver that the high voltage is on and we are ready to operate this bus. If that light is not on, we will not have high voltage energized on the bus. With that light off, there is no high voltage systems that will operate. This amber light is a minor fault for the batteries which would let us continue to drive the bus, but tell the driver that there is a minor issue with the battery. This light is a critical battery fault, and at this point, the driver would need to pull over and stop immediately. This light is our ABS light. That would be on an electric school bus or a diesel bus. This light here is a stability control light. That's a vehicle with two little squiggly lines underneath. So if the driver does not have complete control of the vehicle, the bus will apply brakes to help the driver gain control of the vehicle. This light here is our high voltage indicator lamp. If there is a problem with the high voltage interlock loop safety feature, that light will come on to notify the driver of the issue. 